Hey everybody, welcome back to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can have some fun with some chocolate and a little bit of bubble wrap. I have a little piece of bubble wrap. This has the bubbles on it. That side is flat, so we're going to get this down. And we'll get a little bit of chocolate on it. And just get some chocolate on here. I am using tempered chocolate. If you are not using tempered chocolate, then you'll want to absolutely put this in the fridge to chill it down. I think that's good enough. This is going to be a really fast tutorial. I've had a few requests on how to do this. So let's try to keep this under two minutes. We'll just get it on here. You can go right to the edges if you wish. And of course, I would only use this for decoration. I wouldn't actually eat this chocolate because the plastic, you don't know if it's food safe or not. So I wouldn't suggest eating it. But if you want to use this as a little decoration to put other things onto, then you could do that, I guess. But this is how they do it. I'm just clean off my spatula. I just want to get that corner. So the only thing left to do is let this completely firm up, we'll let it dry, and then later on we'll peel it off the little bubble wrap and I'll show you the really nice result. Now that our chocolate has all set up, we'll just start peeling this off. We'll just gently peel. You can see how easily this comes off. Nice and easy. And look at that, not bad. And let's just look underneath. Very nice. But that's what we're here to see. If I can tilt this, hopefully you can see how nice that is. So let me just zoom in. Now that I've zoomed in, you can really see that bubble wrap texture. Really cool. So that's how easy it is to use a little bit of bubble wrap and some chocolate and have a little bit of fun. So I thought I would show you another variation. So I've just added some new chocolate to the same piece of bubble wrap. And I'll just get that in there. This is for my baguettes, just like that. Usually I take a couple of magnets when I'm using a plastic sheet, a little acetate sheet and I'm doing other chocolate work. The chocolate is a little bit lighter so it doesn't hold itself down so I'll take two little magnets and just attach them at each end like this. They're very very powerful and that will lock the little acetate sheet in here but we have enough chocolate on here that it doesn't need that. But there we have it. So what that's going to do it's going to give us a nice little curve. So I'll let that one completely set up and then we'll just finish off the video. So here we have our chilled down little piece of chocolate. We'll remove our little earth magnets and then lift this out and you can see the nice shape we have now. Let's just slowly peel away. Well, there we go. So there's our other one and this one. So you can see all the different things that you could do with bubble wrap. So that's it for this really fast video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you wish. And if you're on Facebook, you can check me out at facebook.com slash bake like a pro. And if you do subscribe to my channel, make sure you click the little icon. It's a notification bell that's brand new to YouTube and it will alert you in your email every time I upload a brand new video. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my video and I'll see you next time.